Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a variant cutscene cameras. So, let's go into the video. First off, in the workspace, we have a folder called Cutscene Cameras. Inside of that, we have three cameras one called Cam 1, Cam 2, and then Cam 3. And they are just these parts in the workspace, like this. And in the properties, we have can collide off, so players can't collide with them. And we have anchored true. Also, you would probably want to like change their transparency to one so you can't see them. And if you want, you could also duplicate them and add as many cameras as you want. Like this, we could change this one to cam four. But for now, I'm just gonna have three. So once you have your cameras, in the replicate storage, we have two remote events. One called cutscene cam event and then one called return cam event. So this one is going to like between the cameras to the parts in the workspace and the return cam event is going to return the camera to like the player's original view. Then over in the starting GUI we have a local script called cutscene client. Inside of that we have a script here. So if you want you can just pause the video to write it all out. So up top we have some variables, so for our first one we have local camera equals to game dot workspace dot camera which is this camera here. So we need to get the camera to be able to change it to scriptable meaning that we're able to like script camera and change it C-frame. Then we have a variable for the cutscene cam event which is inside the replicate storage. So game dot replicate storage dot cutscene cam event. Then we do the same for return cam event. So this equals to game, draw replicate storage, draw return cam event. So we need to get these two. So we're able to, you know, like tween the camera and then return it once these have been fired to the client. But down here, we're making a variable for a tween service. So this equals to game and then get service, which is a function to be able to get a service in your game to be able to use it. Then we have a variable called info. And this equals to tween info's like information about the tween. So tween info dot new. Then this number two is how like how many seconds it takes to actually tween. So if you want it to be short, you could do it to like one or 0 0.5. Or if you want it to be long, you could change that to like five or something. So I'm just going to keep mine at two. Then this easing style is like the animation type. So mine is set to quad. You can change yours to anything you want, like bounce or linear or something. And if you don't know which one to use, there actually is like a list on I think like a Roblox developer page, which shows you which easing style does what. Then the using direction is set to in out. You can change this to out or in if you want. Then zero, full zero. Then down here, we're using the on client event on the cutscene cam event with cam C frame in the parameters. Now this cam C frame is going to be set using a server script. So this is going to be like which camera we're actually tweening to. So in this on client event, we're changing the camera. So the camera's camera type to enum.cameratype.scriptable. So this is so we're actually able to script it and like modify it using scripts. Then down here, we're using a tween service to create a new tween on the camera. So we're tweening the camera. And then we're using that tween info, which we created up here. And then we're setting the camera C frame to equals to that camera C frame up here, which is in the parameters. And then we're playing that tween once it's been fired to all clients. And then down here, on the return cam event dot on client event, all we're doing is setting the camera's camera type to custom and this just makes it go back to the original camera view of the player. So that's it for the local script. Now we've closed it off. And then in the server script service, we have a server script called cutscene server. Inside that, at the top, we have a variable for cutscene cameras, which is that folder in the workspace. 
servers just equals the game, the workspace, dot cutscene cams. Then down here, once again, we're making a variable for each remote event. So a game that replicates storage, dot cutscene cam event. Then the same for a return cam event. And we're getting these so we're actually able to fire them to the clients, which will like trigger the cutscene. So this wait of uh, 8 seconds, this is just making it so once we join the game, it'll wait 8 seconds. Then we're firing the cutscene cam event to all the clients. Then in the brackets, this is going to be the camera that we're tweeting into. So for first tween, we're getting the cam1 from the camera for the cutscene cams folder, then dot C frame. Then after 5 seconds, we'll do the same, but this time we're doing it to cam2. Then after 5 seconds again, we're doing it to cam3. Then after 5 seconds, we're using the return cam event, firing it to all the clients, which will then return their view back to normal. So if we go ahead and click play, then after 8 seconds, once we're in the game, it should tween our camera to the first camera C frame. There we go. So it tweened over to the first camera. It'll tween to the second one. If it scan, it'll go to the third one. And after a few seconds, it'll go back to our normal camera view. Now I've clicked stop. And if you want things to happen in between each camera, then all you would have to do is like if you do a wait two or something, then game dot workspace dot baseplate dot transparency equals to one. So let's say that once we tune the camera to camera one and we wait to wait two seconds to then change the base plate's transparency to one, then we can do that. So if we click play, then wait for it to tween. There we go. Then after two seconds, it'll change the base plate transparency set to one. So usually you would want like characters to be like talking and like walking and stuff. But yeah, you could do that just in between each camera tween. And guys, that's a bit for this video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye.